Namaste. Welcome to Saturday. It's sunny here, kind of, and a little bit cold, but it's not bad. Quite. I'm looking forward to snuggling up this evening with uh, a bit of Strictly Come Dancing <laughs> and uh, a glass of wine. So I hope you can hear me and I'm just continuing my transmission. This is day 11 of 30 on um, the challenges, desires of a young woman and how perhaps we can let the yin in a little bit more. So as we always do every day and every time we meet, just take a little time just to stay connected and be present here in this moment. So I invite you into stopping and being still and taking three nice big deep breaths with me. Breathing in some love and some light and breathing out the opportunity to be still. I find that opportunity for stopping and a little nourishment so invigorating. I think if I took some deep breaths before I spoke or answered or had any kind of response to anybody else, I think taking three nice big deep breaths would probably um, change things in the moment perhaps. So the first seven days I talked about the challenges, um, about being a strong directive, out there, vivacious, opinionated, controlling woman. Um, and the last couple of days I've been talking about desires, what are our desires. So I was thinking while I was preparing to speak about the desire to have time for ourselves, which I think is valid to discuss. But for me, one of the most important desires, and I'm not sure I'm there with it just yet, is I just want to feel accepted for who I am. And I think the more yang that I have been in my life, the further away from feeling comfortable with myself I think I have become. And where that shows up mostly is in our relationships with our partners. And maybe this taps into what I was talking about earlier with challenges, which is feeling that actually being very yang and very dominant and very directive and very orchestrative and really, you know, opinionated and decisive and all the things that we are, and it's our way or the highway, that, I don't know, that inauthenticity means that we can't accept ourselves perhaps because we always have opinions on things and um, we do override other people and we believe that the way we do things are is going to be a better way to do things but for me being accepted for who I am and certainly in relationships has been one of the toughest things so my desire has always been but just accept me for who I am and I wonder that some of my yangness has actually not destroyed but helped to bring to an end my relationships and I mean we all have um, energies of our fathers and our mothers in us it just is that way and we our character structures are um, developed from birth and so we are very affected by our developmental aspects with our parents however as women as running our own lives our own careers our own businesses and then we go into relationship and even in business I wonder as well that if we're too young we're just not accepted for who we are maybe there's a, th a, a an inauthenticity that comes across that maybe 
that if we were more in our authentic feminine way, more receptive, and we just stood back a little from life, perhaps we would be more accepted. Because I've been talking about this with a friend of mine who's just broken up with her boyfriend, and I see the energy in her the same as me, is that we feel that that part of ourself perhaps isn't accepted by our partners. I don't know, I haven't got any answers, but it's a craving to just think, my goodness, I just want to be accepted for who I am. It's, it's a tough call. And when we're operating in our daily lives, I think again, you know, we have a busy schedule, we have a lot of things happening to us. So at some of our challenges just basically help to build this person that we have become. But there is a lack of acceptance for who we are. And I think that because of those aspects of myself that I haven't quite accepted yet, and even though I'm becoming a lot more yin, I mean, my goodness, what's taking over here is quite extraordinary because I feel like stepping back from driving and leading anything, I'm starting to feel a lot more comfortable. However, I think what our, the inacceptance of being very yang really does show up in our relationships. So if that's happening to you, let me know. Um, I'd love to hear your feedback and please do ask questions on my live transmissions or even on the recorded transmission because I would love to hear what you think about this. Um, Steph, yeah, the biggest, oh my God, I haven't got my glasses on, was realizing that the yin doesn't mean weak or door or a doormat, but receptive and authentic. Absolutely. And then I would say to that is that the more yin you become, the maybe the more that you accept yourself and maybe that feels more acceptable generally than when, when you're with partners. I don't know. I haven't got answers for some of these things because as I said, I'm becoming more yin myself. But having been very yang, I just noticed that um, I didn't feel comfortable with aspects of myself if I was overbearing, if I was loud or if I was literally blasting a hole in the energy of a situation with my the force and the power that comes through Yang women is very strong. It's a bit like, you know, if you imagine um, on a gas cooker, the flame was turned up. I think the flame gently flickers as yin. But in Yang women, that flame is turned up really strong. There's a lot of burning energy coming up through us and we are expressing it. It comes up and it comes out. So it's an interesting point, um, struggling to feel accepted, but I would love to hear what you think. So do let me know, private message me. Um, I'll ask, answer questions on the, on the Facebook page, Gina Hardy Yoga. Please go and have a look at um, ginahardyyoga.com for Yang Woman. And also I'm uploading these videos gradually over the next X weeks um, onto YouTube. So tomorrow we will talk about um, not having enough time um, as one of our desires because I think that has to be the key thing. We've created a very directive life. We have so many things in it and we put ourselves last and I think I'll be talking more about women who have children and big careers and things which means that the self time is very limited um, but yes if you struggle to feel um, accepted where is it that you're not accepting yourself and I ask that to myself I ask that in the energy of this particular desire because that's what we really want. So any yin women out there that have any suggestions about yang and yin and the observations about being accepted then please do let me know. So until tomorrow I honour you, I salute you and I absolutely understand you. Until tomorrow. Namaste.